So while it might look like I'm just hanging out upside down, just letting the blood rush to my head, I'm actually doing a decompressive therapy that we call traction. Now traction has been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, and it's all about taking weight and pressure off of our joints as opposed to putting them on our joints. So if we think about how we move in the world, we are working against gravity constantly. So as soon as I get up out of bed in the morning, I'm standing vertical, gravity is pushing me down all day. And every you know, little bit or every inch of me from the head down, there is incrementally more and more load. So we look at the way the spine's built and the, the vertebrae are really small at the top and then they're really a lot bigger down at the bottom. And that's because there's more load and then we can do stuff, pick up things and do things with our hands and it all goes through that. Our pelvis and our hips are all really stable. And obviously our knees have these big platforms and our feet have this bigger base of support and all this thing. So anyway, we are meant to be compressed. However, sometimes we can get into some issues, whether it's in our hips, knees, ankles, but most commonly into our spine where that compression is too much. So we put people into different categories when they come in and they have some sort of aches and pains. And if you have a load sensitivity, meaning when you're upright against gravity or you pick up something and then you get symptoms as a result, a lot of times it's because we're putting more pressure on some of those tissues, namely the disc and sometimes the joints of the low back. They're um, they're load sensitive. So the way that we address this, not necessarily in the acute, like, hey, this happened yesterday and then my back is really flared up, like not for that, but in the more like kind of subacute and chronic is, can we take some pressure off this thing and allow the tissue to heal? If pressure, if it doesn't like pressure, let's not give it more pressure. Let's find a way to neutralize that pressure. So floating is one way of doing this. So get in a pool of water, a pool, hot tub, etc but doing some sort of traction therapy can be really good as well. The traction tables are nice because they can work into various degrees so that it doesn't have to be that you're just hanging upside down and it's hundred percent of your body weight pulling, but you can actually kind of tweak it and even limit these things so that they only do a small percentage up to a moderate or, or large percentage of your body weight in traction. But again, what we're trying to do is if we're compressing all day, Let's see if we can decompress those tissues. Let's see if we can almost get some space in those tissues, which can typically make an angry disc a little happier. If you have some degenerative disc disease where your disc isn't very large and those joints are sitting on top of each other and those little facet joints are kind of clamping down on those nerve roots and we get a little bit extra space in there and stretch those ligaments, that can be really, really helpful as far as decreasing pain and helping people get back to function. Now, obviously again, inversion isn't for everybody, but it can be really helpful as we look at, uh, to how we're gonna manage some of these load sensitivities. They can be super helpful. This is something that we use in our practice is not so much, you know, we do talk to our patients about these and have them get on here if we think that it's appropriate because it might be something that they do on their own. But we even have a harness that we pull um, to try to get that same traction as you're lying down on either your back or your stomach. We also need to follow this up really smart with the way that we create our exercise programs, where if you're load sensitive, we don't want to add load to your spine and give you more symptoms. We either want to give you some neutral, some kind of like horizontal push pull exercises. But if I give you a vertical pull down, that weight is going to pull up on you, which means that it, technically if I pull down on 30 pounds, I should weigh 30 pounds less, correct? Because that weight's going up. So that's getting me some sort of a decompressive decompre exercise where at least I'm not adding load to my spine. So again, this, this is more of a concept of load sensitivity, how do we unload you, but then also from the exercise follow-up standpoint, how do we manage it so we don't, we have, help you exercise safely. That's what we do. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and reach out. Our PTs will develop a program for you.